Tempira, I guess, um, how excited are you guys to finally be getting a start in this call? Oh, I'm super excited. I think Big Bash is one of my favourite times of the year and the boys are really happy, the boys are really good. It's a really good environment right now. So I think all the boys are getting ready to go and doing all the last little final preparations and just getting ready to kick start the Big Bash. Some teams have played or have meant to have played two games by now. Um, have you guys had a bit of itchy feet watching on? Uh, no, nah, I think we obviously uh, like to see other games, just see what's happening on the pitches and stuff and see what the grounds are like. But I think we all just obviously focus on ourselves and want to do really well and start really well. I guess you guys had a chance to see a bit of cricket at Monica last week, probably a very different ground to what you're used to, a bit slow and um, a bit of water on the pitch on the weekend. What have you guys kind of made of what, what, what to expect? I think well, uh, Red Bull is a completely different game to T20 and Big Bash, but I think it will turn out pretty good. Monica is always usually a good ground, has really good crowds. So I'm really looking forward to playing there and being part of Big Bash again. Did you get a chance to have a look at it yesterday at all? Uh, yes, we trained there yesterday and it didn't look too bad, it looks fine. Alex Hales, what does a guy like that uh, bring to your side? Massive. He's massive on and off the field and on the uh, golf course. I think he brings a lot of he brings a lot of good vibes and a lot of good energy. What does he hit further, a golf ball or a cricket ball? Uh, probably a golf ball, I'd say. You're thinking logically. But how how big a role does he have to play, um, not only this week but this in this tournament? I think he's massive for us. He's been massive for us for every year he's come for us, and I think. The dominate the batting he brings, how dominating he is, how uh, opponent opponents are scared to bowl to him. I think that brings a lot of fear and brings us a lot of confidence. So I think he's huge for us, and the way he starts for us, I think gives other batters a lot of confidence as well. What have you made of the heat so far? I guess they got up to a pretty big start. Uh, yeah, they obviously did. I think, but they played really well. But I think we obviously know our team really well, and I think we match up well against them. So I'm having full confidence and back the boys. How much does it help having like someone like Hales, having one of your imports come back year after year when they're in that opening role and just kind of a bit of familiarity, familiarity up there at the top? I think he's very confident in his role and he's very confident in this group. He's known us for a very a long time now, so I think we just let him do what he does best and I, th I think he knows that, so I think all the boys back him really well and just let him do his thing. Yeah, you mentioned you've You've taken the time to see what's happening this year. So, what have you guys seen? What, what, what's the what's the trends already in the first couple of games? Now, I think it's like more so you're just trying to see what some overseas players you might not have seen do, and like what you specifically want to do. Because I think if everyone in their team, if everyone does their role, I think it's really good team performance. So I think it's all just about getting out, seeing what the grounds might do, or anything different. But it's usually pretty much the same. Going back to ten games this year, there's, there's actually a little bit more. Oh, anxiety about it, I suppose. You've, like, you've, you need you need early results. You can't just sort of build into it slowly. Yeah, I think definitely having less games puts maybe a bit more pressure on winning more games and not having as much chance. So I think the, that's why we want to start really well and be ahead rather than chasing. So I think we want to start really well and have a good start so we're not under pressure straight away. Uh, Marnik has always been the, the, the second home. How much have you guys talked about starting well down here and, and taking advantage of the support you do have? I think we always do really well here. I think the crowd supports us really well here, so we really enjoy playing here. So I think all the boys are really comfortable here. and I think we really enjoy how how nice the environment is in Marnika. Like All the boys love it here, and I think the crowd, the atmosphere, it's awesome to play in front of. Is it something you've felt change over the year like you, you feel it over the years it's, it's, you felt it grow the support um well i've only played for a couple of years and that was covid time so i definitely think it's from zero seats <laughs> zero people on seats to having 20,000 15,000 there's definitely mm. a massive difference uh, and what are the like, so obviously cameron bancroft's been here all week nathan mcandrew's been here all week what have they been telling you what to expect from from the service and everything at the moment um i think uh, we expect a pretty true service pretty nice wicket um, but I think all the boys said it's yeah, it's a nice batting wicket. I think, but if we obviously do what we've planned to do and do what we've doing for the like past couple of years, we'll be good. It's a pretty big ground, um, and we've seen, I guess, just with the turf being relayed, it has been a bit slow out to the boundary. Like, do you guys talk about that at all? You have to be really on your game between the wickets and things like that, just to make your shots value value for your shots, I guess. Um, I guess yeah, we talk about all the little one percent because that does come into it. So. I think all the boys, or especially the batters and even the outfielders, will definitely have a chat about how the outfield's going to go. And we're obviously training and stuff there yesterday. We'll definitely would have had some chats about how the outfield is. But I think it's not as bad as people think. So I think the boys said it's a little bit faster than it was in the PM's 11 game. So I think we're not too worried about it.